I'm now going to continue my video series in elementary mathematics with something a little different today. We're going to be talking about the dollar sign and the cent sign. Where'd they come from? Well, I had to do a lot of digging on this one. And from what I dug up, back in the 1700s, people used to barter with Spanish coins. Okay? These were known as pesos. Okay? And what they would do is if they were writing down pesos, they would write this, the letters PS. Just like this. PS. And what would happen is that later on they abbreviated the PS by writing the S on top of the P. Well, all they do is make this part disappear and you have the single line dollar sign. Now you say, well, okay, some dollar signs have a single line, some of them have a double line. Why is that? Well, there's a number of theories on this. Depends on who you want to go with as to what theory you believe. Part of the people believe that the United States at a certain point was getting sick and tired of people tra trading Spanish pesos because we were the United States. And so to represent United States money, what they would have is a capital U with a capital S. And they would put the S on top of the U. And of course the curve of the U disappeared with the S and there you go. Others say that in Spanish coins, they would have the pillars of Hercules of the banner. There you go. Others say that it was the U was a representation of unit. So you'd have an S with a U on top, and that's where you got your dollar sign. So like I say, it depends on who you believe as to what you get. Okay. Now what about the cent sign? Well, that came about later. That came about the 1800s. And so what would happen is, instead of writing out the word cent, they would just put a C. Well, normally people think of a C as the letter of the alphabet, especially if it's a lowercase c. Well, they wanted it to denote currency, so they took the lowercase c, they drew a line through it and said, that's that cent. So that became the abbreviation for cent. And that's where that came from. So, why don't we use cent today? Well, it's because of early personal computers. They tried to include every single symbol under the sun on those computers, but you know what? They just finally ran out of room. And they said, you know what? We're not putting the cent symbol on the keyboard. It's a QWERTY keyboard. We're not going to do it. That's it. Now, since then, you could put anything you want on a computer. But back then, they didn't have a whole lot of room, so they del deleted the cent, and they just represented it with a dollar sign and a, and a decimal point. Worked just as good. And that's why you don't see the cent sign very much anymore. Of course, not to mention the fact that in our economy, not a lot of things cost under a dollar. Yeah, you might be able to get a candy bar or two, but <laughs> try try getting regular items for under a dollar. Yeah, right. That doesn't happen. Okay, so there's your answer. There you go. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.